Hi! Welcome to my angel's workshop. Let me show you around. In this room you can see all the creations what I have made so far. We can see Tara as well, my little helper. In this video we're gonna learn about rotation, but first let me show you how to take your maker pen out. Go to home on your watch, press onto the backpack and press use under the maker pen. When you click off of it, it's gonna be there for you. Today we are going to talk about different rotations. I have pre-made some objects what I have put on my walls. So let's have a look. So I took one off for you and we're going to rotate that now. This is a difficult object. But it looks really cool when it's rotating. So what we need to do is we just need to go on create and palette and the search bar and put rotator v1 legacy. This is what we are looking for. When you have it it's gonna appear on your end of your makeup pen. We have the snapping tool. If it's on grid and you press rotate, you will be able to rotate any object to the grid. All you have to do is press long with the trigger onto all three colors. Now you will be able to move the object anywhere you want and it's going to be on grid. However, you will need to take the snapping off to be able to move it freely. You need to place your object exactly the way you want it to rotate. Press on to the connect button and connect the top of the rotator to the object. This will show you how straight it is if you want it to rotate exactly around itself. Next thing you do, you have to press configure and press on to the red zero. This is the on and off button. Put in the number one and it will set the rotator on. Let's configure the next color as well, what is green, is the green zero. This means it's the rotation speed, rotation per minute. So let's put a random number like 25. What you need to do now is go back to the tools. If you press move, and you press onto the rotator, it will not do anything, but you have to click off of it to be able to start it. So let's select the select button and you're gonna deselect it and it's gonna start rotating like this. How cool is that? Now I will show you a cool feature on the makeup pen. When you are in the tool menu, you can see select tool functions, select tool settings. However, we will need the circuits and debugging and you can see the play gizmos. You can actually turn them off. It will turn off all of the gizmos in your room or in your game. 
When you select move, you will be able to move the rotator, including the object. When you only move the object, it will just change the rotation for the object. So let's add a new gizmo and connect it to our first gizmo. This is gonna make an interesting thing here because our object will rotate completely differently than before. Again, we have to put the on and off button. So when we put one in, it will turn on the gizmo And we can put another random speed on a green zero as well, what is the rotation per minute. I chose a smaller number, so you will see the difference when it will rotate. Let's turn the gizmos back on now. Go to tools again circuits and debugging and play gizmos and look it's not only rotating around itself it's rotating with an additional function you can play with this gizmo so so much it's incredible Let me just stop the gizmos again and we're gonna add a third one. Let me select um, the two gizmos but is already connected to each other and let's move it up a bit so we can give a bit of space for the third gizmo or rotator, however you want to call it. I'm just moving this rotator in a complete random place just to play around, just to experiment. And I'm gonna connect the third one into the second body. So we are not connecting to the top, we are connecting it to the body. Let's turn it on and let's put some speed in on this one as well. I think 50 is a great number for this one. I'm gonna put the play gizmos on again and it will play. Deselect it, so it's gonna start playing. Oh, <laughs> look at that, wow, it's flying. <laughs> When you drop your makeup pen, uh, the gizmos goes, go away and when you have your makeup pen again, you will see all the gizmos and everything, all the circuits. You can see I have more objects and we're gonna deal with the circle now, but we cannot touch it unless we have the makeup pen. So let's put it to a completely different rotator. We're gonna rotate this in a different way. Much more simpler, but different. So you can see the rotator. You can uh, configure the rotator again, exactly like the other ones. You can turn it on and you can set the speed. It is not connected to the object yet, but it's okay. Let's put 10. Well, 100. <laughs> it's gonna fly out from here. So let's connect it together now. And you can see 
it's not exactly straight. It depends how you want it. You can either not connect to, to each other and then move the ball, but it's not going to help because you can't exactly see if the line is straight or not. See, it's not straight. So you can actually move the object when it's already connected. And now it's straight. You can see it in all angles. Just to make sure. In this tutorial, I want it to be straight. So it's rotating around itself. See, it's turning with 100 speed onto the left. Let me just uh, stop the gizmos again. So it stops all the gizmos in the room. And I'm going to change the 100 to minus 100 and see what will happen. You remember previously it was rotating to the left. So when I play the gizmos, I press select and deselect the gizmo. It rotates to the right, not to the left. Now I'm just going to show you around what else I have done here. This is my favorite here. You can play around with them a lot. Different speed or different rotation. How they connect it is the most important thing here. They can be connected straight, they can connect it in an angle. All you have to do is just experiment with them and find what you're actually looking for. We have a lot of flying things here now. I drop my makeup pen and you can see them without the gizmos. So let's go on to the palette now and I show you something. I have done this for my game Rise of the Dark Angels, what is not published yet at the moment. Let me just bring out the bird. It might be it might not be the best bird, but I quite like it. I'm pretty proud. But let me just put the bird on the table somehow. <laughs> I work on VR, so it's definitely easier than on the screen. Perfect. So I'm going to connect this bird to a rotator so you have an idea what else we can do. I connected the bird not exactly straight so it will fly in a different rotation, not around itself. I have put the speed, I turned it on. And now I play, I uh, press the play gizmos. So it will play all the gizmos in the room. And look, the bird is flying around. And I just drop my makeup fan and the gizmos go away. How cool is that? So this is all I have done or we have done on this video. It's pretty amazing what you can do if you put your mind to it. So this is my game, Rise of the Dark Angels, and I have put my bird in there with a the rotator, and this is how it looks like. So thank you for being here, and see you in the next video.